And now, forecast first from Color 10 News, certified by WeatherAid for the most accurate forecast in the Ozarks. Well, temperatures are continuing to cool down as we head into tonight. We're sitting at 32 degrees here in Springfield right now, 34 over in Rolla and 31 down in Fayetteville. But because of the light breezes outside, feeling more like 26 here in Springfield, 25 up in Clinton over in Rolla and 26 down in Fayetteville. Now, as we head into tomorrow, temperatures starting off on the cooler side at 29 degrees. Those winds are gonna be picking up as well, so it is going to be gusty for most of the day. Temperatures warming back up into the 40s, but even warmer temperatures are expected as we head into Sunday and especially on Monday. Coming up, I'll have the details. Color 10 News at 10 starts now. Now, from Ozarks First, you're watching Color 10 News at 10. It is less than 12 hours away from the implosion of the James River smokestacks. Good evening to you, I'm Heather Lewis. I'm Steve Savard. The city has taken quite a few steps to prepare with SPD closing down several roads starting at 8.30 tomorrow morning. They include sections of South Crenshaw, Kissick, and Ridgecrest. Color 10 Sydney Moran is live outside the power plant tonight. Heather and Steve, people are very excited for this big event tomorrow morning. Some are even a little bit concerned there's actually going to be too many people here because it is such a historic event. For the people that have lived we head into Monday, but that comes with another cold front. Coming up, I'll have the details on how warm it'll be tomorrow and when we're tracking the next round four showers. News, Ozarks First with Heather Lewis, Steve Savard, Weather with meteorologist Savannah Tennyson. And Dan Lucy Sports. This is Color 10 News at 10. All right, we have a homeward bound story for you. Family in Kansas had an unexpected visitor while they were away on vacation. Their own dog. That is Dexter on their Ring doorbell camera. So Dexter had broken out of doggy daycare. He actually had to jump over a six foot fence. He traveled more than two miles to get home and was trying to get back in the house. They were able to comfort Dexter through the Ring app until someone from the kennel came and picked him back up. <laughs> Dexter. He looks He's so happy. Handful, he? Yeah, honored. <laughs> Good night.